who else has had it up to here with staticky hair, right? We are in the middle of winter and that's probably the number one question I get asked this time of year is how do you get rid of static electricity? Let's talk about it. So today I actually have nine tips to help you reduce or eliminate the static in your hair. Number one, which I'm personally terrible at, is drinking water. Just like it's important for us to hydrate our organs and our skin and our lips, when we drink water, it also hydrates our hair. So drink up. The second would be to skip wash day. Every time you wash your hair, you are stripping it of its natural oils. So if you can, skip wash day. Third thing would be deep conditioning treatments. There are lots of good ones out there, but you need to add hydration back into your hair. This just happens to be the one that I currently am using in my shower. It's the DV. This is a hydrating mask and it's lightweight. I have fine hair, so I gotta be really careful when I am using hydrating masks, but this one is a good one. The fourth tip I have for you would be actually to change your blow dryer. This one in particular is a plasma emitting dryer. You've heard of a, like a negative ion emitter blow dryers. Those are great, but this is better. When I say plasma emitting, it's actually emitting positive and negative ions to help neutralize your hair when blow drying, reducing the amount of static electricity. The fifth thing is that when you're using hot tools, same thing. We are stripping our hair of the moisture when we're heating it up. So make sure you're using a good heat protectant before you use hot tools. Next would be to talk about the materials that we use on our hair. I'm talking your pillowcase and your towels. So avoid cotton pillowcases. Flannel pillowcases, I know they're cozy, but they're not good for your hair. Use a satin pillowcase and instead of a regular bath towel, make sure to be using like a hair turban, something like this, or a microfiber hair towel. That's gonna help reduce the friction and create less static. The other thing would be your hair brushes. If you're really struggling when every time you brush your hair it's staticky, switch your hairbrush. Don't be using a plastic brush. Plastic is conductive to electricity. So switch to a wooden handle or a boar bristle brush, you're gonna have a lot better luck. I'm also a huge fan of hair oils. This one here just happens to be my favorite one I'm using right now. A little bit of hair oil goes a long way and you're just rubbing it in your ends. You don't need to get oil up in here, but by just putting a little bit of hair oil in the ends of your hair, that's gonna help tame the frizz that you got going on. And the final thing, which as a hairstylist, I am not proud to actually advise you, you may just need a dryer sheet, all right? Take a standard dryer sheet, take your hair, and simply pull it down. This has all sorts of waxes and things on it that aren't great for your hair, but if you're really in a pinch, you absolutely can use it to remove the static electricity from your hair. So I hope you found this helpful. I will link anything I can for you down below to make that easy, but if you have any other questions, let me know. Otherwise, I hope you learned something and you're able to take at least one of these tips and tricks to help reduce the static in your hair. I hope you have a fabulous hair day.